So at Escaping Glatz Manor, welcome back to Jenny LeCure. LeCure. <laughs> Inspect giant machine. I'm Paul Thieves, by the way. That's Judy Kate. She's a portable lie detector. Portable? <laughs> it's 18 feet tall and bolted to the floor. Yeah, well, I'm still working on that part. But she can detect a lie with 98% accuracy. That's quite a claim. Let's see. Good evening, small human child. I am JD Kate, Arbiter of Truth, Detector of Lies. Since this is the first time we have met, I will need to calibrate. To begin, please answer this simple question. What is the meaning of life? Mm. What? How am I supposed to answer that? 42. Ha! 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 Just kidding. Oh, sorry. I've been experimenting with her personality chip. She's using humor to build a better rapport with subjects. Still needs some work. <laughs> to begin, please tell me your name. My name is Jenny LeClue. Welcome, Jenny LeClue. I am ready to detect. Please speak a truth or a lie. I'm above average height for my age. Whoa. I think I broke it. It's okay. Her fuse just tripped. She gets very sensitive if you lie to her, mm. especially if it's a big lie. But don't worry, she'll reset in a minute. Interesting. This might help me get out of here. Welcome back, Debbie LeClue. I am ready to detect. Please speak a truth or a lie. That big lie, big whopper. Well, I'm probably the best dancer at my school. It overloaded again. I guess this is gonna come in handy somewhere before we figure out something else, huh? Right there. Aha. Uh -huh. Hey! What did you do? Oh, that's just Maggie. She helps me find things I've dropped on the floor. Maggie. Why do you have a man's ring? <laughs> it belonged to, uh... It belonged to a friend. I'm taking care of it for him. But that doesn't make any sense. I'm telling you the truth. No, I mean, why would a ring made of gold stick to a magnet? Unless... There's something more to it. Which of these machines did you say could see inside things? Aha. Uh -huh. Tim. Excuse me, Tim. We need your help. Hi, Tim. Oh, hi. I didn't see you there. My name is Tim, the thermal imaging machine. Metal, plastic, wood. There's nothing I can't see inside. Except, of course, much. your innermost thoughts. Uh -huh. Look, I don't need a best friend. I just need him to examine the ring. Ouch. That hurt my feelings. Go easy on him. He's quite sensitive. Ugh. Hi, Tim. Nice to meet you. Oh, how wonderful it is to meet you, my new friend. How can I be of service? I need you to look inside something for me. I'd be delighted to. Please place the object on my soft, velvety platform. <laughs> That's in some very soft. Come to or me, velvety. tiny object of vast mystery and import. Reveal to me your deepest secrets. Swim in my warm bath of gamma rays. I 
something peering deeply inside you. What's that? Deeper still. I've never seen one of those before. Fascinated. All the wonders I have seen. Well, spit it out already. One moment, please, while I paint you a picture of the journey we just shared. I knew there was something special about this ring. It's full of tiny cogs and gears. I've never seen such intricate craftsmanship. I need to borrow your microscope. Tiny buttons hidden in plain sight. Clever. I wonder what they do. Let's push them. Find out. Oh, that's interesting. That one actually stayed down. Ah. Okay, so that one. Dead one, dead one, dead one, dead that one. Already? The ring opened up like a flower. Why would the Dean have a ring like this? Whatever its true purpose, one thing was clear. This ring was important. Important enough to kill for? <gasps> Dean Strasbury. What were you involved in? Dun, dun, dun. Did you say Dean Strausberry? Whose ring is that really? Dean Coda Susie ring. had entrusted her deepest, darkest secret to Jenny. The least Jenny could do was be honest with her. Go on, you can trust Susie. It's the Dean's ring. Well, it was. You stole the Dean's ring? Technically, I found it. Jenny, you've got to turn that into the police. It could be important evidence. Considering the police think my mom is the Dean's murderer, I certainly won't be handing it over to them. But what if they ask me about it? I can't lie to them. I'm a terrible liar. It's not lying. It's just leaving out the parts that don't concern them. But I can't go to jail. My parents will disown me, and my reputation will be ruined. No one's going to jail, as long as we protect each other. I'll keep your secret, you keep mine. Like... friends. <laughs> sure. How come Susie gets a nose? Now go back to whatever mad science experiment you were doing. I've got a window to open. Jenny. Complex formulas filled the large chalkboard. Clearly the work of a genius. Okay, she's secretly smart. We get it. What is all this anyway? Oh, that? I'm working on a proof to help me pick the perfect prom dress. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. I know, I know. I'm not sure it can be done either, but I've got to try. It's the biggest decision a girl has to make. Wow. Gross. Guess we're going again. Thanks, Tim. Careful, Claude is very fragile. Fragile? Claude. It's enormous. I haven't finished calibrating him yet. If you want to help, get him to pick some things up and put them down again. He needs the practice. Just don't pick up anything too heavy.
have been too heavy. Please be gentle with Claude. He's only a prototype, and I'm out of replacement parts. I've got it! In the back of Jenny's brilliant mind, a plan was forming. I know exactly how to get out of here. How do I escape? How can I escape from Glatt's manor? Judy Kate. Robot arm and the window. When I overload the robot arm, it sparks and fuses. Yeah. When I lie. And when I lie to Judy Kate, she nearly overloads the power supply. Yeah, and it'll blow the window. So if I could overload them at the same time. Then I might be able to short the power and open the window in the attic. But Jenny couldn't operate both machines by herself. Diligent detective. Susie? Yes? I need your... Help. Asking Susie for help was worse than having a tooth pulled out. I need you to do something. Of course. What can I do to help? I didn't say I needed your help. Oh, sorry. I don't owe you anything. Okay, okay. What do you want me to do? Go stand by Judy, Kate. Uh, all right. But why? No time for questions. Just wait for my instructions. Susie, are you ready? Welcome back, Susie Glatz. I am ready to detect. Please speak a truth or a lie. Okay, I'm ready. What should I do now? Just hold on until I give the signal. The robot arm strained under the weight of the giant metal object. Okay, Susie. Tell a lie. And make it a big one. Oh, okay. A big lie. Ooh, I've got just the thing. I'm wearing black socks. That was a lie. Fans on fire? No, Susie. A big lie. Something terrible. I'm just no good at lying. Tell Judy Kate you killed Dean Strasberry. What? That's horrible. I can't say that. Do you want to help or not? Yes, but... Then hurry up and say it. Okay, okay. I killed the Dean? Louder! I killed the Dean. Bigger! I killed Dean Strasberry. Say it like you mean it! I murdered Dean Strawberry. I bashed his brains in. Now I danced on his grave. This is quite the dark little story, isn't it? Wow. That was messed up. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I'm a horrible person. As Susie Glatz contemplated every bad thing she'd ever done in her life, Jenny heard the unmistakable sound of success. It worked! Hurry up. Good luck. Come on, Jenny. Jenny! You can't leave now. It's past curfew. 
watch me. Well, you can't go out wearing pajamas. I'm not playing dress up with you while my mom is trapped in jail for a crime she didn't commit. The real killer is still out there. And what if you find him? What then? Jenny paused. She hadn't thought that far ahead. Are you scared? Well, I am now. Of course Jenny was scared, but she would never admit that to Susie. My mom always says, a great detective shows courage in the face of danger. Now is the time to be courageous. Well, let me help you. We can work out a plan together. Sorry, Susie, but I work alone. At least take this with you then. So we can stay in touch. <laughs> yeah. Fine, I'll take it. Okay, come in handy. But don't call me. I'll call you. Okay, good luck. And be careful. There's still a killer out there. I'll be fine. Thanks, Susie. Jenny, you won't tell anyone about my lab, right? Only if you cover for me. Of course. I'm always here for you. We're going oh. to be best friends, Jenny LeClue. Best I friends. just know it. Oh. Sure. Right <laughs> after I sign up for cheerleading. To catch a real killer, Jenny needed her detective gear. But that was at home, across town and swarming with police. It wasn't wise to travel through town after curfew. To avoid being caught, she'd have to find another way home. Excellent, thought Jenny. Time to exercise my sneaking muscles. Sneaking muscles it is, then. Well, that way looks too dangerous. We'll fall back down. Wait, what? Let's go back up. I don't think we want to go that way. Ah! I don't think we want to go that way either. So we jump down here. Okay, I guess we're going up to go down. Gotta get up, get down. <laughs> Whoa, whoa, I ain't doing nothing. Jenny paused at the edge of the roof, her teeth chattering in the chill wind. Below her, Lake Nowhere glowed eerily in the darkness. From this vantage point, she could see all the way to the lighthouse at the center of the lake. Only the wealthiest families in Arthurton could afford such spectacular views. Mm -hmm. If I cross the lake, it's just a short stroll through the Forgotten Forest to my house. Oh dear. But navigating the lake at night was not an easy task. Many accomplished sailors had met their doom on the ragged rocks of Bear Claw Bend. Well, I've already worked out a way across. Time to get off this roof before someone spots me. Come on! Think fast, Jenny. And just like that, Jenny was gone. Her first great adventure cut short before it had begun. Uh, I'm right here. Just hanging around. I must admit I've been in that predicament myself before. The only thing is, I tend not to be able to hold on for too long.
this the wrong way then. She can run now? No, she can run. Okay, there's a ladder. Okay, well, let's just take a sneaky peeky up here. It's just a postcard. Does that mean I've got a whole one? Nice. Hi, Mom. Summer camp is going great. We took a friend, oh, sorry, field trip to the observatory last night. I've seen, I've never seen so many stars. Ricky knew all the constellations. He's so smart, super cute. And he held my hand. Don't worry, he's only two years older than me. Please don't tell Dad. I miss you all so much. Love, Stella. Stella, you wrote this on a postcard. It's not exactly private. Now the postman knows. I don't know. So what's the story of postcards? Zero seven zero ten zero seven. That's the way to Main Street. I can't risk being caught by the sheriff or his goons. No. The safest way home is across the lake. Okay. Everybody, look what's going down. True believer. True believer. I am the one you seek. I swim in the shadows of giants that stir beneath an eerie silence. Follow the path, reach the truth. What a curious and cryptic message. Was it meant for her? And who had written it? Friend or foe? Stan Lee. This could be from the killer. 
but it was what? far too dangerous to find out. I have to find out. And so she decided to ignore the message and carry on to her house. There's no way I'm ignoring the case of the mysterious message. <laughs> Journal updated. The SS Susie. A gift from Susie's father as a thank you for preparing his lunch one day. Wow. This will get me across the lake in no time. Unfortunately, the boat didn't belong to her. I'll just borrow it for a couple of hours. They won't even notice it's gone. But borrowing something without asking first was just stealing. It's always easier to ask for forgiveness than wait for permission. Of course, the boat needed a key. Jeez. Nobody trusts anyone these days. There must be some other way to start the engine. Ooh. Wow. That's handy. <laughs> Smith and Smith. Warning. Risk of electric shock, third degree burn, smoldering flesh, or death. Warranty void if removed. Let's not do that one. Uh, let's do this one. I bet I can hotwire the boat if I get this panel off. Risk of electric shock. It was far too dangerous. I love danger. Sticker. What am I using to do that? Foiled at the last moment by a rusty screw. Oh well, time to turn back. There's only one screw left. I can just pry the panel back. And so she very carefully pulled on the panel. Oh yeah. Wow, looks complicated. Far too complicated for a child to even attempt. Mom always says, a great detective focuses on the solution, not the problem. It looks like I can bypass the ignition by turning the dials until all the lights are illuminated. Piece of cake. around that one go round down there so oh, that's that one that go around to that I'm surprised myself. Jenny had found a way to cross the lake, but she was still a long way from home. Go, Jenny. She pulled out her journal and plotted a course. She did. First, I'll navigate my way around Skull Island. 
So does this go? Next, I'll sail up the river to the Almasdan Bridge. Then it's just a short stroll through the Forgotten Forest. And finally, home. Hmm. Got it. Let's go. My first hot wear. Jenny had never crossed the lake after dark. Come to think of it, she'd never even driven a boat before. She thrust the throttle forward and felt a cool wind whip through her hair. Sneaking around after My curfew hair, had its off. benefits. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. All the best. Bye-bye.